most high school students would probably tell you they dislike school. Too much work and learning to do. I understand that they don't see how what we are learning relates to their life when they grow up to become drug addicts. <laughs> I would also say I dislike school, but not for the tests for the teachers, the bathrooms, the bleachers, the prison-like structure with prison-like features. No, I dislike the creatures, the ones that roam the halls, thin and fat, short and tall. They stare at me like beasts with animal eyes longing to cannibalize, preparing with their stare for a feast. I would much rather stay at home, but high school is where I go, to listen to hamster wheel conversations, carried on by carry on with very long hair and bare minimal clothes, to listen to innocent imbeciles, intricate intervals of infinite syllables, synonymous with gay, but none meaning it in its literal way, to witness a physical fray over a kidnapped cat, a kid yelling, asshole, give that back. They use this language to give their phrases less meaning. What's the difference between saying, this is the shit, man, and man, this is shit? I'll tell you, saying nothing is agreeing, and disagreeing is receiving an insult or a bruise. I could kick off my shoes and glue the insoles to the toes of other dudes, but I don't want them to feel what it's like to be in my position. I want them to steal my eyes and see through my vision. I want them to know what it's like to hold the door open for people, to say hello to your teachers first, not just the ones you like just because you like them, but all of them because you love them and appreciate what they do for you. To feel empathy and respect for the girl who has the courage to ask in front of the whole class what provoke means when everyone else makes fun of her for being stupid and then call them stupid when they don't know the meaning of penultimate. I know this poem's long, but this is my penultimate point, I promise you. If these high school students viewed the world I knew, they would suddenly see their world askew, and they would join me on my quest to make it straight and new. I want to fix this world, but I need power, and my generation is a lack of generation. All their batteries are dead sour. That's why I pursue art, because when I create with ink or paint on a page, I have strength to take my rage and sculpt it. My pen is my genesis. Its ink is liquid liquidation. This world is the culprit, and only with my creation can I see the issue and solve it. Happiness isn't stuff you find, it's stuff you make. So I guess I'll stop looking at this world with such distaste.